Hey everybody here for um Black Ink Crew season four episode seven. Let's get into it. So it starts off with um <clears throat> Puma and Kwani discussing the shooting. And Puma really doesn't want to tell Kwani about the shooting because she doesn't want she he doesn't want Kwani <clears throat> to worry about, you know, the safety or whatever of Art to Ink. So Kwani's asking questions like well, do you know who, who shot at the shop? Like, what's going on? And he's like, I don't know who it was. They just called my name and they shot at the shop. And whoever did it had terrible aim because um it hit every place else but me. You know, they had to pull a slug out of the wall. So the first thing that popped up in Kwani's mind is, well, what would have happened if Tamia was there? And... <clears throat> she was like, I, he was like, I know, I'm glad she, she wasn't there. She was like, you know, Tamia is always in the shop. So what if this would have been a situation where Tamia was in the shop? Then what? So they're just wondering who did it. And they're thinking that Caesar has something to do with it. And Kwani is like, I wouldn't put it past, you know, Caesar to do it because he has, he's jealous of Puma and whatnot. And, <clears throat> you know, Kwani... Puma was like, I don't know who would have done this. I don't have problems with anybody. And Kwani was like, yeah. Kwani was like, yeah, you don't have problems with anybody now. But I think it was Caesar, and that's the reason. She's like, that's the reason why she left New York in the first place because she felt unsafe. And this is even worse. This is a mother's nightmare, which is true. That is every mother's nightmare. To you know, if something happened to their child, what are you gonna do? So Caesar and Sky are um talking about how. Came into work um, the last time when he was drunk. He was bandaged. He was, you know, he was. Just, he just wasn't himself. So they're worried about him, and they feel like he needs to get it together. As always, every season they feel like he needs to get it together, and he just doesn't. So, um, Caesar's like he's just going to give him tough love from now on because baby and him is not doing anything. Like he needs to grow up and he needs to take care of his his responsibilities. So Sky brings up the shooting at um Art to Ink and Caesar is like, "Wow, do they know who did it?" And she's like, "No, you know, we don't they don't know who did it. It's just somebody just fired off in the shop. They called his name, fired off in the shop, and that was that." So Sky was like, well, who would do something like that? Like, what do you think? And Caesar was like, well, nine times out of ten, if the person is calling your name and aiming to shoot at you, then that means that they have a problem with you or you did something wrong or whatever. So, um, is sitting there listening to Caesar talk about it, and he's like, well, we shouldn't be discussing who did it and if it was deserved or not. We should be discussing the fact that if you know, Puma and his family is okay. So, and you know, Sky's like, shootings happen all over Harlem, so this is nothing new, but it's a shame in this day and age that people don't like to see you with nothing. And I'm like, that is definitely true. Crabs in the barrel mentality. People want to people wanna pull you down instead of y'all coming together and rising up together. See, people fail to realize when you pull somebody else down to try and make yourself greater, it, it never works out well for you in the end, you know? Like like they say, united we stand, divided we fall. So if you are trying to get violent or take somebody out because they're doing better than you, what is that going to do for you? Regardless if they're doing better than you or not, what is that going to do for you, you know? So now we get to, um, because Sky wants to have a a, a butt <laughs> a butt party, you know, she wants to show off her new body. So at the party, Duchess, you know, pulls Caesar aside. She wants to apologize for the whole Miami thing, and they still want to work it out and get married. So Caesar was like, "Well, I was more so hurt that you took off your ring. Like, you know, I don't really care about you and Don engaging in whatever y'all engaged in, but I was more so upset about you taking off your ring." And she said, "Well, I only did it to hurt you, but I ended up hurting myself. But you know, that's that. You know, if you still want to get married, get married." So he's like, "Hell yeah, I still want to marry you." So they work it out. So now Donna arrives at the party surprisingly, but she wants to talk 
to um, Sky, you know, she she doesn't want there to be any hard feelings, you know, her and Sky are friends. So Phoenix is there. And Caesar is like, yeah, I know my boy Phoenix, he's working at Arta Inc. with Puma. But what Puma doesn't know is that me and Phoenix have known each other for years. So he asked Phoenix about the shooting at the... Um, at the tattoo shop, and Phoenix is like, yeah, somebody just let one, they, they let a couple off in the shop. I don't know why. And, you know, I'm just, I'm contemplating if I want to go back there or not. So Phoenix is like, you know, after everything that went down at Art to Inc., I'm questioning if I still want, you know, I think I should just weigh out my options. And, you know, Black Ink might not be a bad idea, but I'm just weighing out my options. Like, you know, this beef between Puma and Caesar has nothing to do with me at the end and in the end it's all business. So I'm like, well that's the right you know, that's the right thing to say, you know, that's the right mentality to have also. So, um Sky comes in and she's like, Hey y'all, greeting everybody. So they're waiting for her to reveal her body and she takes off her coat, honey. She has on this sexy nude kind of dress. Her boobies is sitting nice. Her butt is just fire. And you know, Teddy looking at her like, mm. So, you know, Teddy is like, she has a beautiful body. Like, she, the work she got done is great. Like, you know, her boobs is nice. Her butt is nice. It's just, she looks good. So, Walt is like, well, now that Sky has this new body, Sky should be the new face of Black Ink, you know. She could help with the franchise or whatever, you know. Come and get a tattoo, grab Sky's ass. I'm like, you know what? I can't. So they're partying or whatever. And Kathy arrives. Um was it no no before that. Donna is trying to get Sky's attention. So they go to the side and they go to talk. So Donna's like, you know, you hurt me. My feelings are hurt or whatever. So Sky at this point is like, you know what, whatever, Donna, if you ain't going to tell me about, if you don't, if you not going to tell me about, if you're not going to give me my money back, then we don't have anything to talk about, period, point blank. So Sky's like, well, you put me in a headlock. And Donna was like, I only did it because you threw the first punch with her. She's like, all right, whatever. When I heal up, I want a fair one. Because you know you got you caught me when I wasn't healed properly. But when I heal up, I want a fair, a fair one. You'll know that I'm ready to fight when I come at you. And she's like, all right, just make sure I got my sneakers on. So after that talk, Donna kind of felt the way. She's like, you know, we just had a heart to heart. But now she's threatening to fight me. I'm over this. I'm leaving. So she leaves the party. Now, Kathy comes. Naturally, when Kathy comes, it's like, dun, dun, dun. So, she comes, and she talks to Caesar, and she's telling Caesar that she wants Caesar to serve sh child support papers. And Caesar is like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. You know how I feel about child support. I'm not doing that. So, Kathy is like, listen... I mean, not Kathy. Caesar's like, listen, I'm going to talk to him about this situation. We're going to have a mediation because I do not want y'all to go through the courts. I'm going to try and save y'all from going to court because if you go to court, it's going to get uglier than what it is. So I'm going to talk to him. So he goes and talks to Sh and he, he tells him, <clears throat> listen, we're going to have a mediation. Me, you and Kathy are going to sit down and we're going to discuss what we're going to do as far as Achilles go, because if y'all go to court, it's not going to be pretty. And, you know, you already have pending charges and all that. You're on probation. So if you go to court and you do child support and you don't live up to what they ask you to give in child support, then you're going to go to jail. So um, now we get to Puma and Kwani, and they're talking about staying safe. Um, Arta Inc. is shut down until the police finish investigating the shooting. And, and um, Kwani is like, you know, I have his back 100%. I'm going to be there for you. But um, I just want you to be careful. But I'm like, you know, that's good that they're, you know, this all of this is bringing them closer. Because remember, last season, Kwani was just not with it. She's like, I'm going to Atlanta. You coming? And I don't blame her. So now we get to Caesar and Teddy, and they're scouting places, spaces rather, on 125th Street, or where they could put the new black ink. So they find um this place that Caesar's been looking at, and the place is like a big space. It's like very long, and Caesar is like, you can't even see how long it is just by standing here. So Teddy notices. <sighs> 
Anyway, Teddy notices that the shop is um six. The rent is six thousand a month. So Teddy feels like it's a risky move, but Caesar is like, listen. In order for you to make moves, you got to come up, you have to pay more money. Like, you know, more money, the bigger the reward. So, Caesar's kind of sort of feeling like, um, because Teddy feels like, you know, Puma is close by. And it is going to seem like, because his name is being thrown in the mix of him being blamed for the Arts of Ink shooting. It seems like he's trying to come for Puma and... He's like, listen, I don't have anything to do with that shooting. Puma should be afraid for his shop. If black incomes, his shop will be shut down. And I'm like, Caesar, you're not going to get nowhere wishing bad on somebody else. Like, leave Puma to do what he's doing and do what you're doing. If you want to expand, great. Why does it have to be on, you know, you have to expand off the strength of Puma's failure. Like, what does that have to do with your business? So, Teddy is like, listen, you need to talk to him. Y'all need to find peace with this situation because it's ridiculous. And Caesar's like, no, it's pointless. I done talked to him so many times and it's never ended well. What's the point? So, Teddy basically washes his hands with the situation. So, um, Caesar is tatting this um i think he's a producer named mess hall or something like that and um they're discussing business and friendship and you know this situation is similar you know mess hall said he had a friend who's not his friend anymore they used to work together but now because the business you know business didn't go so great their friendship is ruined and you know caesar feels the same way as it pertains to puma and He's like, I don't know why my name is being thrown in a mix, you know, with the whole art to ink shooting. Why would I try and kill you? I can't kill you if you're already dead to me. And I'm like, yikes, that's deep. So Puma, Kwani, and um, Denise are discussing the shooting. And Denise comes in, her regular, regular defensive self. And she's like, you know, I've been hearing some things all over Harlem. They're saying, um, you know, what happened at the shop? And Puma's like, there was a shooting at the shop. And she's like, okay, so what if your child was there? You could you could have lost your life. Or if Tamia was there, she could have lost her life. And Puma's like, I already know this. We already had this discussion. I already feel like crap about it. Why are you coming to get on me some more? So... Denise is like, you just need to close the shop. Find you a regular job and close the shop. But Kwani is like, listen, Ma, that's his business. That's how he makes his money. And if he closes, <clears throat> Puma's like, if I close my shop, then whoever shot at me, that means that they won. And I'm not going to give them that satisfaction. That's my business. That's my baby. I'm proud of it. I'm not going to close it down and run away because two, like, you know, stupid people want to come and be ignorant and try to take from me and i'm like right him and kwani on the same page <clears throat> so kwani has his back denise is mad she's like listen i'm not saying no more on the situation i've said my piece i'm leaving so kwani is like you're leaving she's like yeah because I, I i can't deal with this and i'm like denise be a grandmother chill out like stop trying to tell them what to do as it pertains to their child and their life like you're not paying their bills you're not giving them money for what they need to do that's his business yeah it's it, the, the safety thing is an issue that just means he has to work on better safety measures that's all but you paranoid you don't want to me at all and you talking to them like they're not to me as parents like boundary calm down go play bingo or something go somewhere ain't you married don't you have a man go entertain him denise annoys me <laughs> so caesar kathy and Sh get together for the mediation and kathy is basically tired of playing nice she feels like he doesn't take care of his responsibility he always walks away when they're talking and you know Sh basically says that kathy is angry that they're not getting back together so when he walks away, Caesar talks some sense to him. He's like, listen, you need to stop being mature. Handle your business like an adult and deal with this. If y'all go to court, it's going to get worse. So he goes back to the front. He's on his phone and Caesar just wants to start them fresh. So, you know, Kathy is just annoyed because the whole entire time they're talking, he's on his phone. He doesn't care. So Caesar's like, listen. If he doesn't do what he's supposed to do as far as Achilles go, 
I will dock his pay personally and give the money to you. So Kathy is like, well, I just need for him to step it up. I need for him to do more. And Caesar's like, well, what more do you want? I'm telling you, if he doesn't do right by you and Achilles, then I'm going to dock his pay. What more do you want? That's the best I can give you. And I'm sitting up here like, Kathy, okay, I can understand you want him to step up to the plate, but what do you do? As a mother, what do you contribute? Because to me, since I've seen Kathy on this show, all she does is beg. Beg, bitch, and whine. That's all she does. And it's annoying. Like, one minute you want to be cool with him, the next minute you mad at him for whatever reason. And now you want to threaten child support and taking... Like, chicks like her kind of annoy me. And Kathy is just... Kathy is the trolling type. Like, she gets mad because... He's not doing what she wants him to do. And it's like, he's not your puppet. So I'm like, okay, whatever. She's like, well, I'm done with him. I'm washing my hands of the situation. I guess we'll just do it your way because I'm done dealing with him. And she's like, everybody in there, they're going to get sick of him too. And they're going to feel how I feel. And then I'm going to just be like, I told you. So I'm like, Kathy, shut up. Just just do what Caesar said to do. Caesar is going to dock his pay personally. Take that and do what you need to do with Achilles with it. And then earlier, shit was saying that Kathy takes the money that he sends for Achilles and she bought a phone. She she buys phones and stuff like that with it. So I can, that sounds about true. So I can understand why he doesn't want to give her anything because if he gives her money, she's going to take it and do something stupid with it. And that's why with this whole child support thing, it needs to be something that goes directly to the kid. Because most of these mothers out here will take the money that they get from the fathers and spend it on themselves as opposed to spending it on a kid. That should be illegal too. But anyway, that was Black Ink Crew. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll see you guys next video. Later.